protein, how much does protein really affect the body? Whether you're more of an athlete training hard every day or just, you know, someone who's not working out as much. How does protein, eating protein, play into the body? Yeah, it, it, protein is, is very, very important. So you can have too much. Most people have too much. Really? So we're about to publish a meta-analysis and, uh, you know, I'm... Um, people having too high levels of IGF-1, and this IGF-1 is then associated with mortality, early mortality. Really? But then we see the opposite. We see the people that have too low IGF-1 doing even worse than the ones that they have uh, very high. So it's better to have more protein than less. Well, it's, no, the best is to have <laughs> that like low but sufficient level. Okay. Those are the people that live the longest, and, uh, um, and those are the people that live the healthiest too, you know, apparently. What's, so, what's the amount you should be having on a daily basis, I guess? Well, we calculated that around, uh, I think it was around 60, 60, 70 grams of protein per day seemed to be in that spot where uh, it wasn't either too high or too low. Uh, is this, I mean, it, it's an average. of This was based on the NHANES uh, and the CDC uh, database uh, in the United States. Yeah. And is this ba no matter how big or small you are, or is it kind of based on how, you know, if I'm a 230 pounds, do I eat a little bit more? If I'm 130, do I eat a little less? No, this is per kilogram, right? Okay. Yeah, gotcha. so there should be per, um, and, and it should be really per kilogram of, of mass, of lean body mass, bones and muscle, right? It shouldn't be, if somebody has, uh, is 50% fat, uh, that gets counted, but maybe half, right? So, okay. so yeah, there's some calculation to be done there, but yeah, so if somebody is 200 pounds and it's only like 15% fat, uh, that person needs a lot, lot more protein than more somebody protein. that that is 120 pounds and 40% uh, fat, you know? Right, right, okay. Uh, yeah, so, so, yeah. So and 60 to 70 grams per day based on your, your muscle. Well, the number should be between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 grams per kilogram, okay. okay? Which I think it turns out to be about 0 0.32 to 0 0.37 grams per, per pound, pound. Per pound, yeah. Okay, so how much so, protein you should have for yourself per day? Yeah, Got that, it. that's okay. how much protein. We then adjustment based on this is not enough for me because right, I do right. too much training, too much exercise. So I'm just going to increase it a little bit until I can. So, for example, we just done a, a clinical trial with cancer patients and um, and we were trying to keep uh, the make the, the system very hostile to the to the cancer. Right. And um, and the and the uh, um, physicians insisted that. So we gave a little training to the to the women that were with breast cancer, uh, muscle training. So, mm -hmm. so we wanted to make sure that they kept the muscle mass. And the uh, interesting thing, they actually ended up uh, gaining muscle <laughs> muscle mass, right? Uh, so we were just giving them too much proteins. Uh, and the mistake, I think, it was to give them 1.5 grams per kilogram instead of 0 0.8, so almost twice oh, as much, wow. right? So, so anyways, yeah, so you can... You can, but by, we measure their grip strength and we measure their lean body mass, their muscle function, and you can see everything going up, right? Mm -hmm. Especially the muscle function and the muscle mass. So, and it, you know, it doesn't take that, that uh, much. So most people uh, could, um, I think, come to the clinic here, the Foundation Clinic, Create Cures uh, Foundation Clinic, and, you know, they can uh, test uh, um, you and, um, right. and, uh, and just make sure that, you have the the right amount based on your on what you're trying to achieve. You know. Gotcha. So how how much does uh, 